This video shows how to use collections.chainmap class. So we can use this chain map class to link multiple dictionaries. So we can treat it as a single unit. So we can also use it to store configurations with some default values. So later if you want to override these default values, we can do it. So I will show you how to do that. So first we have to import chain map class from collections. Then here I have created a dictionary with key name and value sum. Then I have created an another dictionary named default with these keys job, age and salary. Then here you can see I have passed these two dictionary to this chain map class. So this order is very important. First I have passed data dictionary then I have passed default dictionary. Okay. So now I have created chain object. Let me print this chain object. So now you can see this is my first dictionary, the data dictionary, then this is a second dictionary. So if you print, uh, we can print the values from this dictionary like this, chain object in square bracket key name. So let me put this in another line. So we can print name like this, then salary. See it has printed name and salary. Suppose you want to update name, we can update like this. So when you do an update, it update only the first dictionary. It does not uh, change the second uh, second one. So this is a default dictionary. So it does not change this one. Uh, when you do update, insert or delete, all this, when you do all this operation, it, uh, it use the first dictionary. So let me update the name and salary. So now, now I have updated name and salary. Now let me print it. See it has changed name. So when I updated the salary, you can see it does not change the second one. In second dictionary, you can still see the, the old values, the same value you can see there, but it, it has added a new key in the first dictionary. You can see it has added a new key salary the first dictionary so now when you try to print salary see now it has returned the newly entered value of salary so this way we have override the first this this value so let me let me try to delete the salary so now I am going to delete the salary now I have deleted. Now let me print the salary. See, now it's printed the old default value. Now let me print the chain. You can see it has removed the salary from the first dictionary, but in the second dictionary, that value, that's a key salary is still there. So this way, we can use this chain to store some configuration with some default values and whenever you require it, you can override it like this. So this is a one use of this uh, collections dot chain map. Okay.